up guys, Steven here, welcome to the second video on Teardown Tuesday and yeah, I was a little bit drunk on the weekend and I have to fix my projector. So it was falling down from around 2 meters and somehow it's messed up, so something is moving on the inside, I guess some plastic parts and they're actually covering the lens and then the picture looks totally crappy. So yeah, um, let's take it apart and let's see how such an old projector looks from the inside and what's the difference to new projectors like LED projectors or DLP projectors. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the projector, so it's an old NEC projector, the VT670. Um, basically it has um, 1024 times 768 native resolution or something like that and 2100 lumens so it's a really huge and heavy one and it sounded pretty terrible when it was falling down so I will show you now the project that we're using right now so guys, before we start to take it apart, let's have a look at this projector. So this is actually my office projector because a lot of people ask me, what projector do you have? Yeah, I'm, I do actually gaming on this one here. And well, it's incredibly small, right? So it's a um, digital light processing um, projector. Um, yeah, this is invented by Texas Instruments and a lot of projectors have this feature. So um, it's like you have a DMD um, chip, it's an optical semiconductor, it's basically a field, so an array of microscopic mirrors, and it's like a light switch. So they can tilt and then reflect the light, and you, you really get great fidelity, great colors, and everything looks super awesome. Even though the lens is so small compared to this one here, um, it has on the paper 1000 lumens, but it's way brighter than this old projector of 2100 lumens. This is really incredible, and even the resolution is better. But that's not everything. So here in the future, projectors are also integrated into, um, for instance, tablets. So this one here is also projector. It's not really bright, so it's just 50 lumens, but well, it's working fine and the resolution looks pretty good. So for Netflix and chill with your girlfriend or any other girl, so it's super awesome. Okay, so that's regarding projectors. Um, if you're interested in this one, there's also a review on my channel, so make sure to check it out. And now guys, let's go and let's take the big one here apart. So guys, now you'll ask me why should you actually repair that old projector. Now I have to say it's not a bad one, it's not so super bright, but um, it has um, actually an okay resolution for watching movies and also you can read text pretty good. Um, it's a pretty loud one, but well, um, kind of okay. And with those um, converters here from VGA to HDMI, you can even connect your console to it. So it has here an VGA in only because it's a pretty old one, but well, um, it's pretty decent for um, home use. And and um, those projectors are pretty expensive, so if you want to have a good one, you really have to pay like $1,000. Okay, now, um, there we go, so let's get rid of that adapter. And yeah, um, it's not really a dummy adapter, so it has electronics inside because this is an analog to digital converter, and they um, retail for around 40 euros in my country here, so it's kind of expensive actually for them. So, um, oh my goodness, come on get off. Okay, here we have the power cable, it's switched off and first of all we should have a look at the bottom side because in there um, there should be the lamp so um, we have to get the lamp here out and yeah I have no clue how to do that so just give me a second I think I need a screwdriver for this one. Well there we go so oh okay so here's the cap as you can see and here on the inside we have that huge lamp and it gets really hot so the projector was running for some time and I couldn't even touch it and the other good thing about DLP projectors they just have an LED light source and they don't get really hot so here we have two screws so we'll quickly remove them and then we can take the lamp out so let's get it out of the projector and there we go so here we have that huge lamp and another good thing is that LED projectors um, have have a pretty good lifetime because the light source doesn't um, break down so easily and those lamps um, they don't have such a um, high lifespan and also they are pretty expensive if you need to replace them so such a lamp is like 100 euros now it has still 90% of, of the runtime but still 100 euro for a damn lamp is super super expensive okay we can already see inside here and I can't really spot the problem right now so we'll just um, remove all the screws and then just get off the, the um, back plate here Okay, screws are removed and I can easily now lift off here the top plate and here's the projector. So well, it really sounds like I've killed some of the mirrors inside because well, it has a lot of those mirrors inside to actually focus and um, redirect the light beam. But well, also a huge motherboard. Now, if you keep in mind that DLP projectors can be as small as this, then that motherboard here is just the overkill. 
Okay, so we'll quickly remove all the connections and then let's have a look at the internal. So we'll try to get as good into the project as possible. So wow, that's the motherboard, pretty huge one and it has some um, those solid connections to the rear um, input output plate and well also the speaker here wired to that, um, looks really massive and reminds me somehow of my old Playstation 2 but let's continue and let's take this crap here apart. I think I already know what the problem is, so here on the inside there's some kind of glass plate, not really sure what that thing is doing, but it's basically sliding up and down. This is what's making exactly the noise, um, what I've heard when I was shaking the, the projector. So it, it looks like um, this glass plate is not um, probably uh, properly fixed here anymore. So I will try to somehow um, look into it, but I don't want to take it too much apart because I have no idea how to put this back together. So I've now taken out the main optical unit and let me give you an idea how such a projector works. So this is actually a free LCD projector, that means we have three little tiny LCD displays inside. So well, basically um, the light, so it's a strong light bulb, it makes a white light beam. This is going through several mirrors there and you can actually see them here at the bottom. So basically light consists um, out of different wavelengths um, reflecting different colors and the light beam gets separated in red, green and blue. So we have here um, some of those mirrors which are actually redirecting the light and also some um, light can pass the mirrors. That means, for instance, um, here um, we absorb or actually redirect only green light then here we redirect, for instance, red light, and here um, the blue components of the light. Okay, so it gets separated in RGB, red, green, blue. Then here um, we have very tiny displays. So um, you can see here the flex cable, so the connectors to the motherboard. And we have here the one for the green color, here the one for the red color, and here the one for the blue color. So basically very tiny displays. They are displaying um, the input in grayscale and very tiny. So basically um, the light then um, tints to picture. That means um, all those pictures are basically the same, but um, that one here will be a red tint, that one here will be a green tint, and that one here a blue tint. And then there's a prism inside, and um, basically that focuses all of them back together, so it combines them, and then here through the lens it gets um, displayed on your wall. And yeah, um, that's um, how such a free LCD um, projector works, the basics, so I can't explain it too much in detail anyway, but this is how I did understand that, and yeah. So the problem um, was actually um, one of those glass plates here. So I'm not really sure what the first one here is doing. Um, yeah, but that one here somehow jumped out of um, that plastic frame and it's still moving. So I'll try to fix it a little bit more that that can't happen anymore. But that was basically the problem. So I think something broke off when the projector dropped down. And yeah, it's now back in place and I think this should actually work. So it looks pretty cool if you look here directly into the projector. So you can see here several colors shining through um, those displays and that looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, that's it guys. So this is how it looks like once again. So check this out. You can also see here several colors. So here from purple, red, blue to green. And yeah, um, here we have the um, lens and also here we have the focus. So basically for, sorry, that's not the focus, that's actually um, yeah, um, how big the picture should be. And here we have the focus ring, so to get a sharp picture. Yeah, that's the projector here from the inside. I will now try to fix that back in and um, put it back together to the main chassis. And we can also quickly check that one here out because 
you know, um, that light bulb gets pretty hot and you have to get that heat out of the projector. So we have here um, at the bottom one huge fan, so that one here is pretty big. We also have here another fan, so this one here on the inside. And we even have a third fan, so it's near the power supply, so that one here. And that is why this projector is really, really loud, so it's absolutely terrible. But also um, my DLP project is pretty loud because it has a very tiny fan and it has to spin with a high, very high RPM to get um, a good airflow. And those are a little bit bigger so they spin with not such um, high RPMs but still um, this is a quite noisy projector. Alright, so um, last but not least probably the power supply, so it's in here, um, it's a really massive one because also um, those lamps, um, which you can see for instance right over here, I'm not really sure if the power consumption is on there, but the power consumption is really a lot and they get super super warm, so absolutely hot. Okay guys, I will now put it back together and let's see if it's still working. Alright guys, so we're now here at the end of this video and yeah, I finally fixed my projector so it's working again. Pretty fine actually, but well, as you can see, um, future technologies, so project is getting smaller and smaller. Um, DLP, well, um, for some reason, people told me that free LCD, like here in there, I'm um, actually brighter, but I have to say, this DLP projector, maybe it has a wrong lumens writing on there, but it has 1000 lumen lumens, and it's even brighter than this one here with 2100. So, well, um, so far, I have to say, um, totally awesome that this shit here is working again and um, also if you want to see some teardown of a DLP projector or some Chinese projector there is one on my channel so make sure you check it out and thanks for watching as always have a nice day guys and see you very soon in the next one bye bye